You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennessee. So guys, let's jump just jump right back into it. Please sit back and enjoy. Fix 18 minutes. Let me entertain you and let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you're up and let's go. <clears throat> All right. Poor Michimaya, he got hurt. He got hurt pretty bad. Michimaya, please hurry to your position. Ah, I'm getting called shit. Calm down, you witchy. You faced worse. Just breathe. If we lose this tournament here, no, don't, don't think like that. Oh, what should I do? No, take a time. Ah, uh, take a time. Violation. Recompose myself. It'll be no good if I just try to power through it. If I don't take the time to recompose myself, I could end up making a mistake. And I'm doing that so late in the match, it could spell out the end. I need to build up on a point where more than anything. If I lose the point because I chose a bad strategy, my morale would tank. I can't let that stress carry on with me. Right now, I need to relax. <coughs> oh, goodness. Oh, God, I don't know where that came from. Just breathe in as much as I can. Feel the air filling with up my lungs. And hold it in for a few seconds, then just let it all out. Focus on my muscles one at a time. First my feet... Then my calves, from the sole of my feet to the tip of my fingers, all the way up to my head. Feel them relaxing one by one. Michimai, it's been 30 seconds. I'm issuing a time violation. Ignore the Empire's call for now. I haven't gotten a violation so far, so this one won't do anything to me. I have 14 more seconds before he has to issue another one. I use every single one of those seconds to make sure that I'm as relaxed as I can be. I need my mind to be as clear as possible. This is it. I'm all out of time. I'm sorry for taking so long. I'm ready now. The Empire stares at me with a frown. Hey, sorry man, I have to do what I have to do. I might not be 100% relaxed, but my mind is definitely a lot clearer. I can't really analyze you kind of like Kaykun would, but... Now that I think about it, I distinctly remember one small detail. It was really minor, so I never stopped to pay attention to it before. But now that I think about it, whenever I hit a quick, flat shot to his backhand, he always returned it with a cross slice. Maybe I can capitalize on that. Either way... Ooh, excuse me. I won't know until I try. I try hit. I try to hit a strong flat, making sure to correct for my aim. Seventy percent power should suffice. I try to hit as close to the line as possible for to force Yu Yukun into using his backhand. As soon as he starts to run for the ball, I prepare myself. If I run too soon, he just correct the course and would shoot for the other side instead. I have to wait until he's just about to hit and can't change the direction of his shot anymore. It's a gamble, but I let my chips on it. Now. Yukun hits a cross slice, just as I predicted. I began to run just a split second before he made contact with the ball. If it's like this, I have ample time to get ready. I cut into the ball's path. I'll return it as a, I'll return it as a half volley. I'll position myself just in the center of the court, and I'll aim for the farthest corner on his side. Go! What? Before he even has time to react, the shot that he, has, that he was so confident on was suddenly returned to him at the worst possible time. The ball passes with no contest, bouncing on top of the baseline and flying straight for the fence. Yes! I did it! I managed to come up with a strategy and carry it to completion! I said, I'm still on, I'm still on the running! It looks like Yuyu kind of... Heh, looks like Yuyu kind of noticed what I did just now. He doesn't look at all happy about it. Heh, sucks to be you! I just have to carry this for momentum forward before he can recompose it, before he can recompose himself and catch up to me. I'll pummel him with another strong shot! Since the start of the match, I've been cycling through my serves very evenly. But there's one thing I haven't done even since during the whole game. Consecutive quick flat serves. What? No matter how no matter how I look at it, Yuyukun's reaction was way, way too fast. This was beyond the realms of just reacting. Did he did he predict my shot? Not only that, his return was incredibly risky. Returning a strong flat with another strong flat and on such a tight course. He was aiming towards this open space on the other side of the court, but he but he also aimed just short of the service line. The angle is so absurd that just the idea of using that to return a flat shot boggles my mind. This guy doesn't just have guts, he's completely crazy. Ugh, damn it, if I don't run. Ah! Ow, 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 ow. Michimai, are you alright? Yeah, I just tripped, that's all. What the hell did I even trip on? Do I, do I have any bruises anywhere? Oh, Lord. No, everything seems to be in order. Phew! Good thing I didn't hurt myself. That would have been a pathetic way to lose the match. <clears throat> 15 all. Ugh, and that cost me the point, too. Shrug it off. That was a fluke. Although, if I'm being completely honest, my chances of getting it after that sharp flat were pretty low. Eh? Yukun is really close to the net. Why is he looking at me like that? Eh? Is there dirt on me or something? 
Um, Yuyuka? If you're trying to catch me by surprise, and you really should telegraph your next move. Huh? Honestly, consecutive quick flats? From the last point, it was already obvious that you were trying to put more thought into your play. If I take that into consideration, of course you'd want to catch me by surprise with your serve. In that case, you'd go with one combination you've done the lad the least during the day. Consecutive, consecutive quick flats. That would have been a good idea if it weren't so obvious. Please, take me more seriously than that. He then immediately turns around, walking back to his spot on the court. What just happened? What was that about? Was he trying to rile me up? No, it didn't feel like that. This guy really doesn't make much sense. Oh, well, none of, it, none of that matters right now. Fifteen all. My situation isn't half bad right now. Even if we're tied, he, I still, I'm still doing fairly good right now. Now, now that my mind is focused again, I can see the court much more clearly. My body also seems to move more quickly. There's not as much wasted energy. I didn't even notice how stiff my body had gotten before. Pressure is really scary. Now that I think about it, even though I've, already, even though I've been in high-pressure situations tons of times, I never once managed to overthrow my pressure, did I? I always just tried to ignore it and play through it. I really am pathetic. Well, I guess there's nothing wrong with it as long as I, as I recognize my mistakes. When I think about it, I really do have a penchant for giving up without trying everything, don't I? I was ready to give up on this match just because I got a little it got a little rough. When in reality, the situation wasn't nearly as hopeless as I thought it out to be. I can still win this as long as I do my best. <sighs> it's been so long since I played a real high-stakes match. I was always beaten so easily by Takagi that I never really got to enjoy it. Facing someone that so evenly matched with me, not knowing whether I'm going to win or not, this feeling is amazing. My body is moving so much more lightly, even more than when the match started. Even though I can feel the fatigue growing, everything just feels so smooth. The rotation of my joints, the movement of my legs, my swings. I feel like it's all so much easier than before, as if a weight has suddenly been lifted from my back. This feeling is so familiar, this just might be how I used to play before. It's been so long since I felt so comfortable playing tennis. 30 to 15. Ah, I scored the point before I noticed it. Ah, my body's moving on its own. Even though my mind is drifting off on other thoughts, my body is moving almost on instinct alone. Even before my mind can decide on the best path to take, my body is already doing it. Yukon's face is so scrunched up right now, I guess he must be really struggling to keep up. The more we go on like this, the lighter I feel. This is just too much fun. It's like we were teetering on the edge, too evenly matched for one of us to really pull ahead, but right now I definitely have the upper hand. Yukon's shots are becoming more and more forceful. He's trying to stay on the offensive even though he, even when he's being pressured. It's commendable, it's a commendable effort on his part. I can't help just how much he reminds me of myself. Even when he's being pushed, his eyes are always sharp and full of life. Even if he's frustrated, he's still enjoying himself. I, I used to play like that before. I had forgotten what that feeling was like. <clears throat> I missed it. Once again, my shot paints the lines. It's scary just how much my control has improved right now. I keep firing off risky shot after risky shot, and yet they all seem to fall inside the court. 40 to 15! Even the pain in my finger has become just a little buzz that I relegate to the back of my head. It's not important right now, and it doesn't bother me much. You've gotta be kidding me! Yukon seems to be getting really frustrated over the sudden turn the match has taken. Heh, <laughs> I would be too. In fact, I think this mirrors the development we had at the start of the second set. He's probably feeling the same way I was, perplexed, scared, in denial. <sighs> Serves him right. If he raises the bar, that's all that, uh, then all that's left for me to do is to raise it higher. I've never really thought much while playing, but man, it's really hard to be almost... Uh, um, uh, it's really hard to be always... It's really hard to be playing almost on automatic. Yukon returns a rather forceful topspin shot to the open area of the court. That would have been a decent shot if it weren't for the fact that I was totally waiting for it. Once he started to get pressured, his playstyle became a lot more simple. Before, he'd at least mix and match his shots and traje trajectories a little, just enough so I couldn't predict them. Now, all he does is fire a high-power shot to one side and then the other. He's trying to have me, he's trying to have me run left and right, but it's become such a tedious and predictable strategy that I can easily anticipate it. I'll show him once again that I am more than just a pile of muscle. I can also add a delicate touch when I need. What? As if threading a needle, I try my hand at some really precise control that I'm usually not capable of. I gently tap the ball over the net, adding some spin so that it'll bounce backwards once it hits the ground. The ball skirts the top of the net, just a few millimeters away from grazing it. It doesn't even make it halfway across the court by the time the ball stops bouncing, gently rolling across the ground. Game one by Michimaya, 6-5. Just like that, the crowd erupts into cheers. I guess they're getting excited now that, now that I'm in top form. <laughs> Hell, I'm getting excited too. I'm glad we switched sides before my serve. He won't have any time to recompose himself before he has to serve again. Right now, I've got the ball rolling. If things keep going this way, I'm sure to win. But that doesn't mean I'm allowed to get reckless. I'll keep a close eye on him, and I'll be wary of any changes. 
He changed once during the match, so there's no reason to believe he won't change again. Watch, cl watch, cl watch him closely and just try to react as fast as possible to whatever he might do. A wide slice! It's like I thought. The more pressure I put on him, the more he attempts to fall back to the shots he's more comfortable with. The number of slices he used has skyrocketed since the last game, and now it's translating to the serves, too. Once again, he returns my top spin shot with another slice. Do you think the regular, the regular bounce with the sliding motion of the slice will somehow throw me off? It doesn't really make sense. In terms of throwing me, off, uh, throwing me off my rhythm, a topspin forehand with an irregular bounce was much better at doing that job, but I guess he's not as comfortable using that as he is at the slice. I'll try to mix and match the angles of my shots, too. Instead of shooting for the baseline again, I'll shoot for a quick cross-court flight at a sharp angle. Good. That seems to have caught him off guard. You can freeze this for just a second and... 0-15. Score! This strategy just might actually bring me to victory. At this point, Yuukun is so riled up, the odds of him recovering from, his, from this are very low. As long as he continues playing this over-aggressive, this over-aggressive, his attack pattern will remain predictable. In that case, I should have no difficulty coming up with ways to counterattack. Just like last time, Yuukun comes at me with another slice. This time, aiming for the center instead of going wide. The shot is even faster than the last one, but the spin is much weaker. As far as slices go, this certainly isn't the one. This, isn't, this certainly isn't one of the best. I return with a quick cross-court shot. This catches him off guard. As he had already begun, as he had already begun running, running towards the open court, he's forced to break mid dash and run the other way. Yukun manages to reach the ball, hitting another crazy angled shot. Unfortunately for him, his balance was completely thrown off, causing his shot to fly straight into the net. Zero to thirty. Two more points. I just need two more points to win. <sighs> Yukun's grip on his racket has become so tight that his hands have begun to shake. Not only that, he's grinding his teeth in a way that's making weird noises from his mouth. I guess I can understand being frustrated. It felt as if he was leading the match, only to suddenly have it turned on its head at the last stretch. Having victory so close and having it snatched away. But I'm here to win, and I can't let pity get in the way of that. And it, it takes a few seconds, but it seems like Yuukun has managed to get his temper under control. But his face is nowhere near as neutral as it was before. Well, a few minutes ago, his expression was completely blank and betrayed nothing. Now his brows are furrowed, his fur is bristled, his nostrils are flared, his fangs are showing. I could tell what he was doing during, was going to do during the game, but I couldn't tell what he was feeling. Now he's completed his transformation into an open book? Ugh, bad analogy. But the flaring of his temper has also brought a change to his playstyle once again. You got this, man. You got this. You can do it. Instead of falling back towards a comfortable shot, he has, he just hit a serve with as much power as he could. Cuh! I could barely reach the ball in time. Even though even though this was his fastest serve today, he managed to get it to go at a terrible spot for me. Instead of coming at me with slices, he's pounding the ball with renewed vigor. Shit, I'm having trouble keeping up. I need to slow down to the I need to slow down the point in order to catch up. I'll go with the slice. The extra time it takes for the slice to reach his side of the court gives me a chance to better position myself. Yukun continues to pummel the ball with almost no concern for placement. Right now he's all about power. As I continually go for slower shots, I'm given the chance to get more comfortable. Eventually, we're locked in an evenly matched battle of ground strokes. Except I'm thinking clearly, and I see an easy chance for another gangled shot aiming for just aiming just short of the service line. Huh? The instant I hit the ball, I can already tell that there's something off. It hits the ground incredibly close to the line, sliding away from Yukon's range. The Empire's eyes are glued to the ground for what feels like an eternity, trying to decide whether the shot was in or out. But even before he announces it, my stomach has already dropped, because I can already, can already tell that out! 15.30. My aim was off. I don't know why, but at the last moment, it was as if my shoulder joint just seized up. Actually, now that I think about it, my entire body feels heavier. Damn it, I was playing without paying close attention to myself. Went over my limit without even noticing. I guess I got so absorbed in the feeling of satisfaction that I forgot to manage my stamina. I ended up pushing myself too far without bothering to save up, save some up for the home stretch. My legs feel like they're about to split open. I tried to try making wide movements with my body to try and warm myself up again. My entire body suddenly feels so heavy. My muscles are seizing up, and I didn't pay attention to the warning signs. Crap! Yukon is about to serve again. I try to run towards the ball, but I can immediately tell what I won't reach. It hits the fence, echoing the sharp sound of metal. 30 all! I'm at my wit's end. I don't know what to do. I, I was careless, and now I'm paying the price. I, I already know that I'm close to my I was close to my limits, so I should have taken care to save up some energy. What should I do? The situation has suddenly turned into a great pinch. Save, 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 save it, save it, save it, save it, save it. Okay. What should I do? Uh, push myself a bit. Play safe and try to win the tie break. Okay. Uh, push myself and bet it all in this game. Play safe and try to win the tie break. All right. Even if I were to risk it all right now, there's no guarantee that I'd win. And if, 
If I did risk it all and lost the game, I'd have no chances of recovery. Even though this is the coward's choice, I think, I think I'll stick it out. Yukon might make a mistake, or given enough time, I might recover some of my energy. Anything is better than just recklessly pushing forward like that. The last time I tried a reckless plan like that, it blew up in my face. The only reason I managed to recover from that was because my friends were here to give me support and to keep me centered and rational. But if it happens again, I doubt it would work a second time. So I need to stay rational. As long as I stay rational, more options are bound to present themselves to me. Another shot soars right past my reach. 5-0! I, I underestimated him. I thought that if I stayed calm and avoided big risks, he'd eventually crack. But it's clear he won't crack. Yukon knows that I'm out of juice and out of options. Knowing that, he managed to recompose himself. Oh, shit. I made a mistake again. Shit. Nope, nope, nope. We're going back. We're going back. We're not losing. Nope, nope, nope. I am not losing. Push. Right. It's do or die. And if I don't find a way to break his serve right now, what chance will I have at a tie break? My energy isn't going to miraculously return, and it's only downhill from here. I know that if I push myself over the edge, I might be able to get one last boost. But on the other hand, if I risk it all and here if I risk it all here and can't break, I'll have absolutely zero chance at a tie break. No. Thinking like this is pointless. I'll have no chance at the tie break to begin with. I'll summon up every ounce of energy I still have, and if I truly and if I have truly run out, then I'll just play on guts alone. I don't care if this match leaves me so exhausted that I can't move. I'm winning this, and I'm winning it right now. You can restart the match with another forceful serve. Lost well, plenty fast, my legs somehow oblige my desperate plays and begin to move properly once again. Even if my arms still feel somewhat heavy, I can definitely hit it back. Just like that, we're locked in a stalemate. Yukon's attacks are too predictable. As long as I can still run, I can deal with them. On the other hand, I can't seem to control the ball as well as I was doing before, and my shots aren't as forceful. I can't take big risks like I was before. They just wouldn't pay off. But I need to come up with some way to turn this around. I'm well aware that I'm out of fuel, and unless I, wanna, unless I want to come to a full stop before this match is over, I have to do something. Even if it's risky, now is the time to risk it all. Just continuing to play this game at a high pace. Just continuing to play this game at a high pace was already a gamble. Might as well go all the way. Hit a drop shot, silently hoping that I'll catch him by surprise. Even though his face doesn't betray much, he seemed to have been delayed one step. Will that be enough? Yukon throws himself to the ground, attempting to pick the ball up before it has a chance to fall, but he fails. He's just a few centimeters short of the mark, and the ball rolls on the floor towards his face. <gasps> Thirty to forty. I, I. Match point. Michibaya, finish it now! Gokonose, don't give up! The crowd seems to get more riled up the closer the match comes to the end. At this point, my heart feels like it's about to burst out of my chest. But it's no dream. I do have the match point. This is my chance. I, I doubt I'd last through a deuce. In fact, I'm pretty sure that if, the man that if he manages to get a deuce, my chances of winning will go down to near zero. I need to get this last point no matter what. Yukon pats himself clean of whatever specks of dirt clung to his fur and clothes after his fall. He gl Excuse me, his, glare is, his glare feels incredibly sharp. I feel uncomfortable having him stare at me like that. But I suppose I can understand his anger, and there's nothing I can do about it. We both walk back to our positions, to the start what is to, to start what is hopefully going to be the last rally of this match. Yukon comes at me with another powerful flat serve. Ugh, I swear these keep getting faster! I managed to reach it, but only by the skin of my teeth. My return was, was just good enough to avoid an instant counter. Once again, we initiate a contest of ground strokes. If my body were moving just a little more responsively, I feel like I could clinch this point fairly easily. His predictability... No, we're gonna finish this match. His predictability is the only reason I can still st can still keep up. If Yukon were playing just a little more rationally right now, he'd probably win. But instead, I already know he's going to attack with another flat... Huh? Before my very own eyes, I see the ball dropping right in front of the net. My mind isn't able to comprehend what I see. As if in slow motion, I see the ball leaving Yu's racket with very little momentum, ready to drop to the floor and stay there. He went with a drop shot? At this point in the match, under all this pressure, as angry and aggressive as he's been, he managed to recompose himself enough to pull this off? For a split second, I can see what looks to be a malicious smile flashing across Yu's face. He probably noticed my struggle with my own stamina and decided to capitalize on that. Even though I felt my reaction was delayed, I have no choice but to run. If I let this point escape me, I won't be able to get back on track. HA! I nearly fall to the ground attempting to reach the ball, but I somehow get to it. Yukon's drop shot was surprising, but it was nowhere near perfect. The ball has too much power, and it went a little too far over the net making it easier to reach. But still, Yukon comes up to the net, ready to finish the point. I stand firmly directly in front of him. Left to right, which way will he shoot? A lob? Right now, when I'm as far up to the net as can, I can be, he chose to attack me with a deep, aggressive lob. I have no choice but to run. I need to reach this ball. I can't even see where Yukon is right now because my back is turned to him. Oh, there's no time for me to turn around. If I try, the ball will bounce twice, and I'll miss my chance. I, I've barely ever practiced the shots, but I have to go for it. Without turning around, I hit the ball from in between my legs. Towards the left side of the court. Holy shit. Eh? 
But as I hear you use confused gasp, I turn around to see that the ball went past his defensive range on the net. Please go in! Everyone suddenly holds their breaths. Me, Yuya, the audience. We're all staring with anticipation at the umpire. He opens his mouth and... Game set in one. Game set and match one by Michimaya. Count six, four, three, six, seven, five. The roars of the audience are deafening. The umpire barely has time to finish the announcement before his voice is completely drowned by the howls and yells of dozens of excited onlookers. Somewhere among them, my friends are probably also cheering me on. But right now, there are so many voices that I can't hear them. I... I still can't believe that I actually won. All right, guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Seems like a good place to pause it. We won! Michimaya won, yes! Whew! I'm glad that there's a choice you can make that could actually lose you the match. That's pretty interesting. I wonder... Wow, I wonder how much that would change the narrative. That's a good question. Hmm. Oh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!